but we're really excited because we got Chef Corbin in the kitchen this morning. How are you? I'm great. I've watched you forever. Make a restaurant makeover. You seem like the, the calm, cool, collected chef. That's me. Can, I'm calm. I'm cool. You can change things, though. You can change things up. Make them healthy. Make that's, them real. That's what today's all about. Nanaimo bars that actually fit into your keep it real program, mm -hmm. like decadence without going over the top. Is that yeah. what we're doing here? What we're doing is we are reinventing the Nanaimo bar so that you still have the indulgence of the coconut, the creamy bit, and the chocolate without feeling guilty after you have it. So this is, I'm telling you, what's great about this is it's only five points on the Weight Watchers program. Which is phenomenal for dessert. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so how do we make okay, it? So let's, all it is is it starts with egg whites. You froth them until they're looking like that, right? Okay, so they're frothing. There and we then go. The batter is simply, we're gonna, instead of putting chocolate in, we're gonna put a little bit of cocoa powder in. Okay, we're sifting together. Why Baking do we do powder, that? We get rid of the lumps. All right. You don't want a lumpy batter. If you don't have time, just throw it in and risk getting lumps. Okay. Right, but those are, there's some lumps there. There's some serious make. lumps, okay? Oh, but you idea. sift it all together, you flour. Cocoa powder, yep. baking powder, in with the egg whites. Okay, okay. let's do it. Okay. Do working. I want to turn it on while I put it in, or does it matter? On high, actually. No, I'm kidding. Just you're, you know, just, you're setting me up. Just Here. like this. There you go. You got it. Probably shouldn't. There you go. Okay. And when it's incorporated, you don't want to over whip because you don't want it to be a brick when you bake it. Gotcha. Okay. You add in unsweetened coconut. Go ahead. Here. Sauce. This seems very simple, Chef Corbin. This, if you can't make it simple, people don't do it, right? Limited ingredients, which is great. I love Vanilla it. and brown sugar. Brown so sugar. if you're going to bake with sugar, try and use the one with the brown sugar. It's, okay. it's better for you, okay? And what you end up with is a beautiful... Awesome, I love that. You can dress her up. <laughs> can dress me up, can't take me anywhere. But Here. that's it, right? That's it, that's all. Don't over whip it. And what you okay. get is this beautiful kind of thick batter, which is good on its own. You want to like... Can I? Yeah, go ahead. And I'm going in. Right? And you put it mm. in a square baking pan, your nine inch, eight inch, whatever you've got. You put it round. You bake it for about 30 minutes at 350. And you know what's done when you do the toothpick test? Right? Chocolatey and delicious. It tastes like dark, dark chocolate. Yeah, it's like it doesn't taste overly sweet. I exactly. Know, not really dessert, and then, of course, good. you need like the creamy frosting mm -hmm. on it, which the mm -hmm. Nanaimo bar, it's all about that custard, which is the one that's going to get you, right? So this is the same type of thing, but you do a, a no-fat style cream cheese or low-fat cream cheese, a little bit of icing sugar and some coconut extract, and then all you do is you let your, your base cool and you smear this on. That's a technical culinary term. Schmear. Schmear. But you put this all on top after it's cooled. After it's cooled, after it's yeah, cooled, otherwise it's it's cooled, just, it's just going to melt everywhere. It's going right? to melt. And that's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, makes it messy. Now, you know what neck of the woods you're in right now, right? You know how close we are to Nanaimo? You I know. know I know watching? that if I don't get this right, that I may never return home. Chef Corbin, we're right. going to have to taste. So and good. I cannot lie to the people of Nanaimo and those who have worshipped the Nanaimo bar for years. Really? This is only five points. That's <laughs> <laughs> one big bar. No, but listen, it's about okay. paying attention to what you eat and right. the ingredients that go into what you're, you're, you're eating. And so many people don't do that. They gravitate to the ready-made ingredients, the, the items that they, you know, don't want to take the time to make. Seriously, how quickly was this made? If you say, I can't do it, I need to stop at the, you know, the dessert shop at the end of the street. Here we go. Oops. Oops, sorry. But it's, it's, it's easy, right. it's uncomplicated, and if you do this... I promise you right now I'm going to tell you if this is truly good. I'm making that for Brady. This oh, is going right. in my kid's lunch. Not free, too. For families that... Coconut. Coconut? No, can you no, take no. coconut to school? I don't I think, think you can. Can you? No, I well, hope so. I would keep do it your kid first. <laughs> I'll test it out with Brady. Follow Chef Corbin at Chef Corbin on Twitter. Yeah, and get on Weight Watchers and eat an Nanaimo bar by me. It's smart by points, right? It really is just common sense eating when, you, when you're thinking about the WW. I got lots of friends that are limited very fat, successful. Limited fat, sugars, but just... Eat whatever you want. And every now and then you can have a small bowl of Hawkins cheesies or some salt and vinegar chips. Why not? Why not? Follow it with some fresh veggies and maybe a fruit, piece of fruit. See? So smart.